welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. And we've got five everyday women for you today of all different shapes and sizes. I think we're going from four foot 11 to five foot nine, five foot 10, something on those lines, I can't quite remember. Um, and every size in between. And they're an older profile group of friends. They are a group of walkers. So they spend a lot of time out in the countryside walking and they wanted me to look at their walking attire as well as elevating them up for like a coffee or um, in some of their cases a nice pub lunch out, things like that. And I'm actually recording this introduction after the event. So I've already dressed them and we had a really lovely time. They're a great group of women, but we had last week, apart from the day when we filmed, a disaster of a week. Does anybody else have those? I feel like completely exhausted from it. We all got ill in the team. We had children off sick. We had husbands off sick. We had everything um, sickness wise going on, but also we had a really big week of prepping for some big shows, our Style Academy stuff, online clients that we had to cancel. So um, yeah, so it was a busy week. So the result of that meant that we didn't start editing the YouTube video until much later on um, one of the evenings. And when we did so, we realized that a chunk of the video whereby we are looking at their walking gear was corrupted. So it's taken us a lot longer than we expected to edit, um, especially because you had to wait for myself to get my voice back to do a voice recording over it. But we've put the video together, but if it feels a little bit disjointed, like usually I would start off with dressing them for their walking first of all, and then I'd elevate them. But this time we've had to put the video the other way around. So please bear with us. I know the sound quality might not be good in parts, but please do remember that we're a bunch of stylists. We've taught ourselves how to use this camera, we've taught ourselves how to do the lighting and we spend hours in the evening um, teaching ourselves how to edit. So we don't claim to be professionals but I think we've pulled it together for you so I really hope you enjoy it. So despite our bad week last week, I'm sorry we didn't manage to get the video out but we did do quite a bit still on Instagram. We showed some clothes as normal. This jumper actually seemed to go down well, a lot of people like this. A little nod to Valentine's Day for you. I've got it in the navy as well. I'll put some pictures at the side. I'm just wearing it with some red sambas. But the other thing that we got so many questions about is I put a feel sorry for myself picture up with me under my big LED Dermalux salon grade LED. And it's the world's most powerful at home LED device for the face and the body. So for full transparency, they did gift this to me. And you've heard me say this before, but I'm not into skin products. I'm not, um, you know, I use whatever shower gel is in the shower. I don't use creams. Um, I've never had any facial work done at all. Um, you know, what you see here is age 48. <laughs> Um, lines, wrinkles, uh, uh, the lot. But that said, when they sent me this Dermalux system, um, I didn't even know what it was in all honesty. And I can tell you now, my husband uses it all the time on his back. So it's not just for wrinkles and skin rejuvenation and fine lines, of which it does an amazing job. To be honest with you, that is how I've used it. And I have seen a massive decrease in all of my fine lines here. I used to have a huge um, sort of dip here. It's still there, don't get me wrong, um, but it has massively reduced, I'd say, by probably 50, 60%. And I go on this machine now probably three times a week. I'm not sure how many times you're meant to use it. It's actually quite tough being in front of the camera, to be honest with you, at my age, where you're watching yourself and you're editing yourself back and you see every sort of imperfection. It really can get to your self-esteem. And I used to be one of these people who would look at the likes of Jennifer Aniston or, you know, all these beautiful stars. And I just think, why are they going down that route of Botox and fillers and things like that? They're beautiful. But having been in front of the camera for YouTube now for the last year or so, 
I can see how it really knocks your self-esteem. But for me, um, going down that route of Botox and fillers, no, no judgment to anybody else, but it just wasn't right for me. So th this machine was actually gifted to me at a time where uh, I think it was really needed. <laughs> and so, yeah, I go on it quite a few times a week. I spend about 20 minutes on it. And it has three settings. You've got blue light, which my daughter uses because it's really good for acne. She's at that teenage stage where she's got a little bit more than um, she wants and it clears it up amazingly. Um, I don't tend to use the blue light, but I do use the red light and the near infrared light on it. The red light is great for things like fine lines and wrinkles, pigmentation. So if you've got pigmentation on your hands, it's often a sign of um, somebody getting older. Stick your hands under it and that pigmentation will go. And it's the red light that's really, really good on muscular pains. Like I say, my, my husband uses it as well. But for me, it's the combination of using it, the red light and the near infrared light that really sort of regenerates my skin so you, when you get up in the morning you're just feeling really dull that's when I'll have a quick 20 minutes on it and then I'll come in front of the camera because the near infrared light works at the skin's deepest deepest levels the level that a normal LED mask wouldn't work at and this reduces inflammation it reduces redness so for me, a combination of these lights generates collagen, so my skin is a lot firmer. Now I will say that I do use it in combination with the Current Body Radio Frequency Machine. Oh, that's great as well. <laughs> it's like you just want to get rid of your lines for like the evening, then you use this machine like that on your face and it just smooths everything out. But if you use it continuously, it's got like muscle memory and so it stays like that as well. So I think it's probably a combination of both of the machines. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just reminding me I also use the zip halo as well okay so having said that I don't actually do much for my skin I do use those three products but that's it I don't do anything invasive at all but anyway um, I do have a discount code for you so I will put that on the screen now for you I think it gives you £175 off the machine and yes the machine is expensive. Let me just put that out there. But it's not as expensive as having these treatments on a constant basis in the salon. Like I said, I've never spent money on anything like this before and I was gifted it. So fair enough, I haven't in this case. But now would I spend money on it? A thousand percent. For me, it's just given me that confidence to stand in front of the camera, to be honest, and not be so conscious of um, all the signs of aging. <laughs> so hopefully that discount code will help you if anybody is interested. And if anybody wants any more details, then just head over to the Current Body website. I'll put that up for you now. And don't go off my technical explanation. Read the website. Um, I'm not an expert on it. All I can tell you is I genuinely, genuinely use it. So anyway, back to our lovely walkers. So we've elevated them a little bit. Who'd have thought they'd have turned out looking like this, eh? <laughs> so the aim here is just to provide a range of options for all of you out there and for our lovely ladies here. Taking you from, you know, smart casual here with Lindy. This is very you, isn't it? Very, this is me. Very, very practical, but still stylish at the same time. All the way up to Chris and Kitty here, who are sort of top end, really nice silk scarf going on. And then we've got these guys here somewhere in the middle. So we'll bring each of them on and we'll talk through each of their outfits. But I just wanted to show you collectively as a group how lovely they look. And would you, I'll ask the question to you ladies, are any of you thinking about your conscious areas? No. 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 There we no. go. No. So that just shows you, doesn't it, when you've got the right clothes on, how that can distract you. And often, you know, when we're all feeling a little bit negative about um, our bodies and things like that, when you've got the right clothes on, you don't even think about it. Okay, you all look lovely. Okay, so the addition here isn't another walker. Um, this is Kira, everyone. Have you actually been on YouTube before, Kira? No, it's my first time. Oh, it's her first debut on, <laughs> on YouTube. So Kira 
did our personal styling um, course to become a personal stylist. You made the transition from marketing career, didn't you? Yeah, marketing digital, yeah. Yeah, and so she did our course and now she's here today helping behind the scenes to dress the ladies. So for anybody who has done our course, opportunities to come in the studio like this are available to you. You just have to call us up and let us know. So um, apart from being boiling hot in the studio <laughs> right now, um, this, I would say, is very you. This is very me. Lindy always looks lovely and styled and put together. And she does so in a really nice, subtle, casual way. So things like the trainers here have got that little stripe on there that matches the coat. The coat's a petite, isn't it? Yes, here. Yeah. yeah, I think from petite hops, size 10 hops, yeah. Size 10. So the, the petite on Lindy is definitely needed because you're five foot one and a half. But not only is she petite in height, but she's petite in body scale as well. The coat's really practical, which is really important. So the zip hood can be taken off and, and on again. The petite length means that it's not drowning her. And she's got this gorgeous cowl neck knitted jumper on here. I've tucked it up a little bit there. And that the reason for that is because she's got a slight ankle grazer of a jean on here. So when we've stolen the length from the bottom, as in we've effectively made her legs look shorter by putting an ankle grazer on, you have to find that inch somewhere else again. So you do that by slightly tucking in. If, for example, we just let that hang out, now we've shortened her legs at both ends. So now obviously her legs are only that, that long. <laughs> and now as we go higher and higher and higher, you'll see that her legs will then start to look longer. Okay, so there's the jumper and it is beautiful. Talk us through it, Kira. Okay, so when you, we put this on you, you instantly glowed, didn't you? You were so happy. It. Yeah. And why this works really well is that it's got a lovely strong shoulder, beautiful detail on the sleeve, and it's got the cowl neck, which obviously with her bust just helps to make it all work perfectly, I think. Yeah, I think it spl helps split up a larger yes. bust, doesn't it? Yeah. A, cow a cowl like that, because um, Linda has actually got a really decent sized bust, so if we had pulled that up really high like that, then it, she might then start to look quite block-like from the top down, Brief, yeah. where that actually helps to split that area up. Um, yeah, love the sleeve details yeah. on that. It looks like a really mm. premium jumper. It does. Where this, I feel that we could put you in a pair of boots or a little heel, it and it would be really good for like an evening yeah. out or something. Kitty, you look a little bit different, don't you? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> I love the pop of colour on you really really like it but just coordinating the color here like the green top with the little green bag is really important because it helps to draw that whole outfit together without that can you see how then it just misses a beat just a little bit and something else you can do but if you just pull down that bit of white, that then adds in another contrast to that outfit as well. So the bag is a mobile phone holder, but you can also put your credit cards in there as well. So we're trying again to keep this practical for you because I heard from the other ladies that you always forget your mobile and you don't take it I'm, out. I'm terrible. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no excuse now. No, I've got my bag. Now, for Kitty being tall, she usually struggles with jean length, is that right? Yes. And you've kind of, she was kind of saying, are these jeans the right length for me? And we all collectively said, perfect length right. for you. So I think what you've been doing, Kitty, is wearing them slightly too short. Yes, okay? I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, we're obviously very mindful of making sure that it's safe and nothing is dragging for you. Yeah. So if you just turn around to the side. So now that she's turned to the side, what I want to show you here is that the jeans are not touching the floor. They are a fraction off the floor. They're covering quite a bit of her trainer at the front. That is what you want to achieve. If you turn back around for me a moment, Kitty. Where Kitty has probably been wearing them, I'm taking a guess, Kitty, but I imagine that you've probably been wearing them about there. Exactly, that's what, yeah. I never, I never have my trainers covered. Yes. yes, 
Okay, so what that is going to do, hopefully you can see, is shorten those lovely long legs of yours. But not only shorten the legs, it's going to make your top half look longer and your bottom half look shorter. And what we're always trying to do in styling is create balance between the upper and the lower torso. Despite her being tall, she still needs that extra length to balance out. Right. Okay, so I'm going to pull those back down. Something else that we've done on Kitty is we've added in a shoulder pad here because without the shoulder pad, um, she's quite rounded in the shoulders. When you look rounded in the shoulder, you're going to look bigger overall. And I think that helps to create a lot more structure. It almost makes you stand a bit taller, doesn't it? Oh, yes. yeah. Good, my job's done then, you can yes. go sit down. Okay, thank you very much. You're very thank welcome. You. Okay, so we've got Bridie with us, and doesn't she look lovely? So I think you like this outfit, don't you, Bridie? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah, yeah. it goes yeah. really, really nice. So obviously Bridie, first of all, is petite again four foot four foot eleven yeah. eleven okay um and we needed to balance that out her top portion so that she feels less conscious around her stomach area and that everything's just nice and coordinated and i think we've achieved that do yeah, you it's quite cool it's yeah casual. really really cool and i think that's that you just hit on a good word actually it's kind of quite cool because i think it's quite hard when you get older, isn't it, to look Definitely. modern, yeah. mm -hmm. but not mumsy yeah. and not old fashioned. Mm. So it works perfectly. So what we've got on here is a pair of boots, as you can see, a slightly cropped trouser again, not too cropped. They're the petite range from Bowdoin, I think they are, aren't they? I don't know. No. I think they no, were Bowdoin. Again, we'll link everything for you. A bag from Hush. Cardigan? Uh, Hobbs, I think. Hobbs, okay, um, and then a striped top. But if I could kind of just show them the, the top here. Okay, what you'll see there is some gathers on the shoulder. And what that is going to do is going to give Bridie the structure that we want, just like my blouse is doing to myself. You are already fairly rounded in your proportion, so maybe your bust and your stomach kind of merge into one, or you've got very sloping shoulders, then you need angular clothes. So this top is brilliant for somebody who needs the angular clothes because it's going to give that structure. That structure there will balance out her boobs and then it will also balance out her hips, making this waist look smaller. So if you think about it like this, we've recreated the hourglass shape. So we have pulled out the top of the hourglass. The waist, therefore, will naturally look smaller. We haven't actually done anything to the waist to make it look smaller, other than increasing here. And then the cardigan, when it's back on, is going to be increasing your hip area. Mm. So naturally then, the area that you feel conscious about is then going to look smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay, so we think she's looking lovely, but often it's down to the last details, isn't it? Yeah, so this outfit really um, looks gorgeous because we've... Um, pulled up the sleeves a bit and pulled the t-shirt underneath um, out so it gives a lot of detail and what we're using actually is um, little plastic bands that you get in um, Primark or Amazon, they're only about a pound don't they? They're about a pound for like 200 or something Mark, on yeah. those lines, yeah. And that just helps, um, you know, when you're when you're little and you're short it just helps to elongate the um, your limbs a bit more and showing yeah. that wrist really really helps. Um, and we also have this lovely jewellery from um, a brand called Tutti, really lovely. Yes. And we're using that to add detail, to create the V, and it just helps to break up the outfit a bit and help guide your, your eyes, I suppose, kind of yes. a bit more to the... Yeah, it just helps bring everything bring together, together. Yeah. splits up the stripe a little yeah, bit, Yeah, that's it, doesn't yeah, it? it's not so blocky here mm -hmm. as yeah. a result, yeah. And I find the Tutti brand in particular very good if you don't like the yellow of your Monica Vinna does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. slightly uh, more muted gold, yeah. isn't it? It's lovely, yeah. And it's also a fraction of the price. Yeah. So that's always a, a helps as well. Yeah. But yeah, that looks lovely. It looks like you're ready for lunch. It is indeed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let, okay. Let's get the next Thank one you. on. Thank you. Um, so for Chris, innovation here comes with the added silk scarf, for example, the long camel coat. It just takes it up from the cardigan look that we had on with Bridie earlier on to um, a more, slightly more formal, but still casual at the same time. Um, you know, if you wanted to dumb this down a bit, so to speak, you would then just change the silk scarf for like a winter cream scarf. Yeah. Yeah. 
and it would just change the format. Um, she's got this lovely silk top on here from the White Company. We've got you in a bootcut jean, which I think just looks lovely on her, do you? Yeah, yeah. It's really, really lovely. Really That's nice. Such a shape beautifully, yeah. yeah, it really does shape her legs really nicely. And a bootcut is great if you are conscious of your sort of torso area because it helps balance and rebalance the shape as well. And it's never just the top that will stop you feeling conscious about your stomach. It's the jacket, the jewellery, the trousers, the boots, every, everything together. So what we see all the time is when people say, oh, I just want a really nice top to hide my stomach. And we're always like, well, it's the whole outfit, not just the top. And I think that's a really important point to take away from this. You've got to look at it as a whole, not as a single item. Blazer would look nice. Mm. Should we just try yeah. that very quickly? Yeah. We'll try that on her. There we go. A lovely, quick transition. Easy it was to do as well. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's a really yeah. good point. It was an easy transition yeah. and it yeah. was an easy transition because the colours are the same. Yeah. We, we say this all the time, but if she had got a blazer in a black, for example, and then a camel coat, then she wouldn't have been able to make that transition so easy. So it doesn't matter that your cardigan is camel, your blazer is camel and your coat is camel. That is actually what you want in styling. So what is this blazer doing for Chris? I can tell you exactly what it's doing. It's giving her shape. It's putting her back into an hourglass shape. What I want to show you here is that the jacket is so well cut that it's going in and it's flicking out, which means that the shape is created. So even if you're very block-like through the middle, it's going to create that illusion of a waist. Reese blazers, they are more expensive. You can often pick them up for cheaper in the outlet stores, but we've been using this for years, like uh, personally, <laughs> as well as on repeat for yeah. my styling clients. Um, and it never ever goes out of fashion. So I think it's an investment purchase, but one that will just stand the test of time and be suitable for whatever your age as well. I could equally wear that as Chris could, as yourself could. So yeah, really nice. There we go. I'm joined again by Margaret. Margaret, very conscious of being um, incredibly slim. You're usually like a four to a six. Yeah, in trousers, yeah, it could be. Yes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes a 10 on top, you said. Uh, yeah, 10 yeah. on top, 8, 10. So I think the 4 and 6 really comes from your waist yeah. that's really tiny, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we definitely wanted to create a little bit of volume on her. She's also got a very young sort of personality at heart, so we kind of went for this very funky look, didn't we, Kira? So uh, talk us through her outfit, Kira. Okay, so she's actually wearing my jacket, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> so I'm what we have is it. lovely wide leg trousers, um, like a tracksuit style from M&S. Um, they are a perfect length for her as well. They just reach um, just above the um, sole of the shoe, which has got a slight little bit of chunk in it too, which I think makes it just really young and funky, isn't yeah, it? Nice. Yeah, are they comfy those trainers? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a Marks and Spencer's trainer, slight platform on, like Hera says. And then we've got a lovely little knit. I don't know where the knit's from. The knit is also Mons. from Marks and Spencer's, Marks and Spencer's as well. well lovely. Yeah. I think the pop of colour actually is lovely on oh, you. Like yeah. um, and Melissa was telling me a little trick about how to create a bit of a waist when you are very, very slim. Um, and with the wide leg trouser is to just have the jumper poking out a little bit. Yeah, right? yes, that's that? right. Just that little bit longer little. than a bomber jacket. And then it just gives a lovely um, waist um, definition. Yeah, lovely um, silhouette. Yeah, and then the bomber I think is really cool in you, which I don't think you were expecting. No, it, I like it as well. Yeah. Nice. yeah, it's gorgeous. Really, really nice. Just finished off there with a bag and just keeping it simple yet still elevated yeah. casual, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like you could go for I coffee yeah. in that, and would you feel comfortable? Yes, I would, yes. Brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> right, okay. So we've already met Lindy, as you know, but Lindy, just remind us of your height. Five foot one and a half. Five foot one and a half, okay. Yeah. Dress size? Uh, 10 to 12. 
So I would say she's an 8 to 10, not a 10 to 12. And I think when you probably do wear a size 12, that's when the clothes can look a little bit overwhelming on you and yeah. too big and baggy. Um, but she's actually got a fantastic figure. She's very, very fit. Right, let's look at what she's got on. So we'll put a picture at the side of us of her normal work walking gear. But this is what we've chosen for Lindy today. And we think she looks lovely. Um, you're loving the jacket for us, don't you? Yes. What about the colour? Because I think the pop of colour is really nice. I you? never would have chosen this colour, but yeah. I love it. It's really, really yeah. nice. So what we were trying to do here is just make the outfit fresher, but still practical to a certain degree. And I say a certain degree because we're very much aware that a lighter colour like this isn't practical for everybody's walking environment. But, That's right. you know, we walk in the, in the countryside, but many people walk in the city. With That's their dogs yeah. so mud splashing and things like that isn't really an issue for them but what you could do if this was an issue for you is just change this coat for maybe a green one yep that would look really yeah. really nice and then suddenly it's incredibly yeah, practical. practical yeah but we've got some really sturdy walking boots on notice how we've just popped the socks out here and that is just helping to draw other lighter elements of the outfit together then these trousers super comfy Love these trousers. Comfy, waterproof, practical. We've established we could still pull them down for a wee in the woods. Yes, <laughs> haven't we? Most important at our age. <laughs> Very important. Uh, but it is things like this you genuinely do need to think about from a practicality yeah. point of view, isn't it? So Most definitely. Uh, elasticated waist. We've lined it with a heat tech top underneath here. So this is an ultra thin layer, but very, very warm, um, but without giving the bulk. And we've followed uh, Lindy's bust line here. It helps shape, and it helps show, actually, that she's got a lovely figure as well. Like, you don't need to hide it. <laughs> Get it out and flaunt it. <laughs> Sounds very wrong saying that to my mother-in-law, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I so, so the pop of white is really nice as well. If we pulled that down like that, it wouldn't actually pop as much. So the white is helping the sort of corally colour just pop. And obviously the jacket is then complementing the whole outfit. It's got little things like your thumb holes, both on the top and the jacket mm. and mo more importantly when we take the jacket off should we just do that really quickly there we go jacket off and she still looks equally as lovely so you need to remember when you're walking that you've got layers and when you take the layers off you still want to look as good as you did with the entire outfit out something i'm noticing even the laces of your shoes are kind of complementing the coral the top coral, as well yeah. Yeah, so it is these little fine details that make all the difference. I think you look lovely, right? I'll pay you later. Great, thank you. <laughs> so for the next three ladies, I'm having to do a voiceover as the original footage was corrupted, I'm afraid. So starting off with Margaret. As we've seen before, Margaret is a very slender UK size 4 to 6. She can be up to a size 8 to 10 across her shoulders and across a bust area, but her waist is incredibly small. And what you can't see in these pictures is that she was actually wearing two lots of leggings. And that's because she struggles to find clothes that actually fit her waistline. So to bulk herself out a little bit so that her trousers actually stay up, she often wears two pairs at the same time. So the first thing we needed to do is to make sure that we bought her clothes in the right size that were actually going to fit her. And we started off with this pair from Marks and Spencers in this lovely burgundy colour that fitted her perfectly around her waist. We didn't go for a tight skinny trouser because that would simply highlight her slender frame even more. And we knew we wanted to add in a very warm and very versatile jacket for her. So we chose this jacket from North Face, which is actually three jackets in one, which was excellent for somebody like Margaret, as it gives her the options of adding or taking away layers with ease, and the colours all coordinated really lovely. 
Had we have paired the jacket with some tighter trousers, we would have actually made her figure look very unbalanced. So she would have looked a lot more top heavy than she is. And then her legs would actually look a lot more slender than they are because the proportion difference is so much bigger. In an ideal world, we'd put her in a wide leg trouser like we did earlier on today. But that obviously isn't practical when she's walking in the middle of the countryside. So this is where there has to be a balance between what's right for her body shape and what is practical at the same time. And that's why we ended up with a slightly looser waterproof walking trouser for her. So you're always looking to create balance. So it doesn't matter where your lumps and bumps are to begin with. You always want to put your figure back into an hourglass shape with the use of clothes. So next we're welcoming back Bridie and from the pictures on the left you can see her in her normal walking attire. Now look at the picture of her on the right when we've taken off her jacket and we've taken off the jumper. I think you'll probably agree with me that actually following the shape of her figure down makes her look a lot smaller than when she's got the jumper and the jacket on. And the reason for that is because the jumper and the jacket are very similar in colour tone. So it's actually made the top half of her body look bigger than it is. She's also wearing a high neck jumper. And when she wears a high neck jumper, it's going to make her bust and her stomach merge into one. So overall, it makes the bust and the stomach area look a lot bigger than it actually is. As you'll see with her in the white tighter top, we can now actually clearly differentiate between her bust, her lovely slim arms and her waistline. What we probably need to do is skim over the waistline just so the top isn't clinging tight around any conscious areas. But we definitely don't want to add volume to Bridie. So for Bridie's walking outfit, we've selected a top that is going to follow her bust line down. It's not going to be too tight. It's going to skim over the stomach area, but it's going to have an open neckline. What that neckline will do is help to split the bust up. It will also help to broaden the shoulders slightly. If we're broadening the shoulders slightly, then the bust and the stomach area is going to look smaller when in combination with the coat because the coat comes in at the waist and kicks out slightly at the hips. So what we've done here is we've recreated the hourglass shape on her rather than the photograph on the left hand side whereby the coat is very box like it's straight up and straight down so that coat follows her natural shape we are trying to recreate an hourglass shape and as you can see it's done very successfully and it doesn't matter where your lumps and bumps are the hourglass balancing method will make you look more in proportion and when you look more in proportion, your clothes are going to look and fit and feel better on you. Now, something that's worth pointing out, notice on the photo on your left hand side, she's got black long trousers on right the way to the floor. Now, her legs will look longer in this combination. However, because she's got her top pulled down in the first picture, then her legs actually look a very similar length to the picture on the right. Yet the picture on the right looks a lot more stylish. So even when you are petite, you can wear an ankle grazer jean or a trouser, or in this instance, you could wear a sock around your ankle area to keep your legs and your feet warm as long as you tuck the jumper in at the top because where we've lost the inch down the bottom we need to regain it around the waistline. When you do these two things in combination then it won't make a petite person's leg look any smaller. It's when you don't do these two things together that you can shorten the look of your legs. And the final thing to note both on Bridie and on Margaret is that when we inserted black into their outfits, it actually dulled down the whole outfit. It just didn't make it look as stylish. It can also actually make you look bigger. Have a look at the difference between Bridie in the black top and the cream top. 
Personally, we felt that the cream top gave her shape. Again, it defined her bust line. It made her waist look smaller. The black top with the higher round neck just made her look more barrel-like from the neck down to the stomach area. So don't be afraid of lighter colours. They are actually your best friend in styling rather than your enemy. So next we met the lovely Chris. So Chris is about five foot four. She's a UK size 14 on top and sometimes a UK 12 on the bottom. So she's broader on top and that's predominantly to do with the size of her chest. So we need to make sure that we break that chest area up whilst balancing out the rest of the figure by broadening around her hips. Now, given that these ladies are often walking in very cold weather, layering is key. But here we've shown two different types of coats, obviously a smaller gilet type coat, but the equivalent coat in the longer version so that she could easily go from one to another. Now, given Chris's larger chest, you would ordinarily stay away from a high neck top, but we need to be practical here. Given the weather, she needs to be warm. So we have actually chosen for Chris a really lovely polo neck top. It's a fleece based top and they come in all different shapes and sizes and many different colorways as you can see here. Now given that we've put her in a polo neck top and she's got a large chest, we can't stop there. Otherwise she'll look very barrel like and her breasts and her stomach will start to merge into one. So we added in an additional layer of this North Face fleece that has got a zip collar. That zip collar is going to start to help to balance out the bust area by splitting it up just that little bit. Then it was important that we further create another layer, another demarcation line across the front torso, again to split both the bust and the stomach up. So we did that with the addition of the gilet, or if the weather turned, then she could also wear the longer coat as well. We also added in a lovely beanie, some matching shoes and some socks just to coordinate the whole of the outfit together. And finally, we actually put her in exactly the same trousers as you saw on Lindy at the start. Lindy was wearing them in the green and Chris is wearing them in the navy blue. And finally, we have Kitty back again. So Kitty's conscious area is around her midriff, but notice how she's actually got very narrow shoulders and her legs are actually very slender as well. So for Kitty, it's all about broadening the shoulders and broadening the hip area in order to make the stomach area look smaller. So we actually tried a couple of outfits on Kitty. She arrived in the outfit on the left and we really liked the blue on her. But this time, instead of a half a zip fleece, we went for a full zip fleece so that it separated the bust area up. As you can see, we added a longer coat. It's actually got a tie in around the waist because we wanted the extra length of coat to add volume around her hip area. So she looked more balanced overall. We also tried her in this lovely barley jumper. So a higher neck, again, trying to think about being practical. And then it had the lovely drawstring waist, which actually gave Kitty the illusion of a waist. And then it kicks out over her hip area. So once again, it recreates that hourglass shape that actually results in a more balanced figure. Now I mentioned how much we love the blue on her and that's because Kitty has the brightest bluest eyes and we actually managed to salvage just one part of the video whereby Kitty, as you'll see, got the fits of giggles when I was trying to show the audience exactly how lovely her eyes were. <laughs> um, she's got a fit of the giggles. <laughs> so close to the camera. Now you know how I feel. Isn't it awful looking at yourself? <laughs> I'm sorry. You look beautiful. Oh, thank what you. I'm trying to show the audience is you've got these gorgeous blue eyes. So picking up on the lighter blue here is really helping those eyes to pop. 
So you can go back. Is that a little bit oh, too thank close? Thank you. Yeah, that's too close for comfort. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for bearing with us this week. I hope it wasn't too disjointed for you. Remember that we have got you £175 off the Derma Lux LED light. If that's of interest to anyone, I'll put the code up down here below. Have a look at their website. It is really, really amazing. I know it's an expensive product, but if you are one of these people that go for these treatments all the time, then I think it's probably financially definitely, definitely worth um, looking into. But bye for now. We'll see you again shortly. Thanks for watching.